Hi guys, so let's look at this set here. A very good set. Uh, you can put this in under quant based logical reasoning. Okay, so look at this set here. This set says that a war was declared between the kingdoms of two types of ants, type A and type B. In the war, all the 50 ants of A are in a queue facing all the 60 ants of B, which are again in a queue. These two queues move towards each other. Every ant of type A kills every fourth ant of type B. Okay, so what it is saying actually is that there are two queues of ants, ants here. Okay, and uh, type A has some 50 kinds of ants here, 50 ants of A and there are uh, 60 ants of B. And these two queues move towards each other and uh, every ant of A kills every fourth ant of type B and every ant of type B kills every seventh ant of type A. Fine. Any ant that is killed will be out of the queue. In the war, it is possible that an ant of one of the two types can kill as well as can be killed by the same ant. The war will be over once the queues pass each other. Right. And if you look at the question here, it says that what is the maximum number of ants that any ant of type B killed in the war? What how many ants of type A are killed like that? Okay. So basically I need to solve the whole puzzle to answer this kind of question. Okay. So let's look at this here. There go. So now let's let me see that uh, here are a few ants here. Let's say these ants are like for example this is a row A one going on. This row A is going on. So we have some lot of uh, type A. We have got fifty ants here. Yeah, fifty ants. Okay. So A one, A two, A three, A four. Let's say for example A five, A six like that. A seven and so on. Hey right? na. Like there there are fifty ants here. Okay, and let's see that these are going in this direction here. Okay, similarly, there are the other ants of type B. That is, let's say for example, read and just name it few B1, B2, B3, B4, B5 like that. Hana. And they are moving in this direction. Okay, and there are like that, there are some 60 ants. Okay, so here we have got type A 50 ants. So here we have got 50 ants here. So I can just write here 50 ants. Okay. And here we have got some 60 ants here. Okay, so 60 ants here. Fine. Now, so you see that what what would be happening here, guys? Okay. So now, if you understand this, so it's saying that every ant of type A kills every fourth ant of type B. Right? So every ant of type A kills every fourth ant of type B. That means every time B1, B2, and B3 will always pass through, and right? without being killed here. So B1, B2 and B3 will always pass them because for example, if I say that the ant here is A1, correct. So for, for this ant A1 here, the uh, this uh, B1, B2 and B3 will pass. So B4 will be fourth ant. So A1, so I, I, I can say that, let's say A1 will kill B4. Right? So A1 will kill B4. Similarly, uh, A2, for A2, B1, B2, B3 will pass out and the fourth ant will be B5. So for A2, the fourth and will be B5. So A2 will kill B5 like that. Anna. Similarly for A3, uh, B1, B2, B3 will pass through and the fourth and will be uh, B6 because B4 being killed by A, uh, A1 and B5 being killed by A2. So B6 is the other and for A3. Okay, that and is killing like that. It's going on. Okay. Similarly, now every ant of type B kills every seventh ant of type A. So can I say that? Can I say that this is the seventh ant of type? This is A one to A six will always uh, will uh, will never be killed actually. Can I say that that A one to A six will never be killed? Why? Because for for B one, A one to A six will pass. Okay, and B one will be killing A seven. Correct, no? A seven is the seventh ant for B uh, seventh ant for B B one. For B two, A one to A six will pass, and behind that, okay, sorry. And behind that we have some uh, just a minute guys okay so behind that we have some a8 and a9 here so that means I can I can, I can say here that uh, these ants b2 okay so b2 for b2 a1 to a6 all will pass and now a7 being killed by b1 a8 is the uh, seventh ant for b2 like that and this is going on so again I can say that a1 to a6 will never be killed right so let's try to find out how many ants B1 and A1 will kill. So that's how we attack a set, right? Because it's saying that every uh, this uh, seventh ant being killed by uh, type B. So now and assume that. So we have got 50 ants here. So what will be happening here, guys? 
सो फॉर फॉर ए वन वी हैव गॉट सम सिक्सटी एंड्स ये है ना सो फॉर ए वन वी हैव गॉट सम सिक्सटी एंड्स तो लेट मी राइट लाइक दिस यार ओके सी फॉर ए वन वी हैव गॉट सम सिक्सटी एंड्स यार है ना सो दिस सिक्सटी एंड्स ए वन विल हैव सिक्सटी एंड्स ऑफ टाइप बी सो ए वन विल बी किलिंग एवरी फोर्थ एंड सो एवरी फोर्थ एंड ए वन विल बी किलिंग राइट सो इन दैट केस आई थिंक वी हैव फिफ्टीन एंड विल बी लेफ्ट आउट सो ए वन विल आउट सॉरी फिफ्टीन एंड इल विल बी किल्ड सो आउट ऑफ सिक्सटी एंड बी वन इज पासिंग तो फिफ्टीन एंड विल बी किल्ड बाई ए वन एंड फोर्टी टू एंड आर लेफ्ट आउट नाउ हाउ फिफ्टीन बिकॉज सिक्सटी बाई फोर इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन ना ओके so there are सिक्सटी ants of type b every fourth ant will be killed by a uh, type a ant that is a1 ant so for a1 there are सिक्सटी ants of b every fourth ant it will kill so फिफ्टीन and it will kill so now for a2 फोर्टी फाइव एंट्स आर लेफ्ट आउट सो ए टू अगेन इज किलिंग एवरी फोर एंट्स एवरी फोर्थ एंट तो फोर्टी फाइव बाई फोर इक्वल टू एलेवन सो ए टू विल बी किलिंग एलेवन एंट हेयर है ना सो ए टू विल बी किलिंग एलेवन एंट एंड थर्टी फोर आर लेफ्ट आउट करेक्ट फॉर ए थ्री थर्टी फोर एंट्स आर देर Again, every fourth and eighth three will be killing. So thirty-four by four will become eight. Okay. So now eight is being killed by uh, killed by a three. And now for a four, twenty-six are left out, right? Now, out of twenty-six and here, so twenty-six by four again is equal to six. So six are basically uh, yeah. So six are being uh, killed here. So a four is killing six, and now twenty is left for a five. So for a five, twenty and are there. And every fourth hand it will kill. So twenty by four equal to five. So that means a five will be killing five ants here. And for a six fifteen are left out. A six will be killing every every fifteen fourth hand. Fifteen by four equal to three. That means fifteen by four is three to so three and it will be killing like that. Okay. Now so can I say that after this the fifteen minus the when a six is killing three ants. So fifteen minus three, twelve ants of type B are left. Twelve ants of Type B are left. I can say this, है ना? Because A six has killed three ants, so right now twelve ants of type B are left. And similarly, let's make a table for this B one also, yeah. If you see for B one, uh, it has got fifty ants of type A, है ना? Out of fifty ants of type A, it is killing every seventh ant. So fifty by seven equal to seven. So let me just rub this here. So now if I if I see here, so look at this one. So now for B uh, for B one we have got fifty ants here, and it's killing every seventh ant. So B one will kill seven ant, and now for B two forty nine ant will be left. So fifty by seven is equal to seven. So B one is killing seven ants, and now for sorry not forty nine forty three ants will be left out. Okay, so forty three ants will be left out. So forty three ants are left out. Fine. So Forty three ants are left out for B two. Now B two will be killing again again every seventh ant. So forty three by seven is six. Ah, so B two will be killing some six ants. Okay. So for B three, thirty seven ants are left out, and thirty seven by seven is equal to five. So B three will be killing five ant, and now thirty two ants are left. So can I say that after B three, thirty two ants of type A are left out? Thirty two ants of type A. Are left out, are left here. Correct. So this is the funda till now. Why? Why I have attacked? Because I know that A one to A six are always uh, will never be killed in the war, and B one to B three are not will never be killed in the war. Uh, in the war, right? And we already discussed this point before. Okay. So interesting, you know. So now understand this, guys. So now once we have this twelve uh, ants and this thirty two ants are left out now. So understand what will happen now behind this uh, after A six and after B three. Now see it. It says there's a possibility of mutual killing, right? The set says that no. It is possible that an ant of one of the two types can kill as well as can be killed by the same ant. It's written there. So basically, it means that now understand here. For example, let's take a number like B P here. So let's say there's some ant number B P here, and let's say there's a there's some ant number A Q here, right? Some behind. Behind uh, A five, A nine, any ant number is A P, and here any ant number is A Q and B P. Now understand it. For A Q, the what will happen now? If you observe A Q, what will happen with A Q? For A Q, B one, B two, and B three will pass. For A Q, B one, B two, and B three will pass. So three ants have passed. 
it is not going to kill three ants so aq will be killing the ant behind that one so let's say bp is the number of ant behind b3 so that means aq will be killing bp so aq will be killing bp correct now aq will be killing bp so let's say aq will be killing bp okay killing fine now similarly understand this for b1 b2 b3 so we have got some seven ants here right done for a type a so what will happen it what will happen is like for example a1 a2 huh? a1 a2 a3 a4 let me write in uh like in order okay so this is moving like this i'll write here okay now uh understand this this is a1 a2 a3 till a6 so they all have passed okay so they all have passed now let's say there's an ant number aq here and so now what will happen here so now for for bp so for any ant number bp here i'm saying so all bp is killing every seven type ant here and so bp is killing every seven type ant here. so what will happen now so bp for bp it a1 to a6 will pass so for bp the seventh ant is aq so now bp will be killing aq that is mutual killing right understand this point one understand this point guys i'm saying that aq there's an ant number aq behind somewhere behind a6 you can it can be aq can be anything 15 20 30 35 18 17 anything right just assume there's a number number aq for what will happen with aq so when aq is moving forward so b1 b2 b3 will pass hai na? so whichever ant is left out behind b3 aq will be killing that ant similarly for that ant which aq is killing i'm numbering it bp here okay look for what will happen for bp for bp a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 will pass so any ant number behind a6 let's say it is a, a, a q so now bp will also be killing aq because aq is the seventh ant for bp and a bp and bp will be killed by aq because bp is the fourth ant for a, a q right so that after that mutual killing will start right after that mutual killing is start because every ant behind a6 will be some seventh ant for uh, the uh, ant behind b3 and every ant behind b3 will be some fourth ant for any ant of type a behind a6 okay that's the funda so i hope i hope you got this right so when this once this mutual killing starts here so what i can say now see once this mutual killing starts so what i can say now is there are which kind which category of ants are left less lesser in lesser uh, number that is uh, type b 12 ants are left I okay so what will happen in mutual killing now here yeah? now see understand this now so now 12 ants of type b are left out of these 12 ants these three ants will never be killed and that will be on between with three that means behind that nine ants are left out and similarly 32 ants of type a are left and out of these 32 these six ants will never be killed a1 to a6 so behind that 26 are left out and so now now in the mutual killing nine ants of type a nine ants of type a sorry nine ants of type b i should say okay so nine ants of type b will be killing nine ants of type a and nine ends of type A will be killing nine ends of type B because uh, these uh, these ants are lesser in number. There are only twelve left. So while when mutual killing starts, like uh, parallelly uh, uh, ants from A and B, both types are killed together. Okay, so we have lesser numbers of type B here, type B ants here. So once we have lesser number of type B ants here, so in that case they will be finished first, Anna. So nine ants are left out. So these nine ants will be killing the nine ants from type A. So out of 26 here, 17 would be left out and all these nine ants are now killed. Okay, so all these nine ants are now killed and now 17 are left out here. Okay, so that's the scenario here. Okay, now so nine ants of type B will kill 17 ants of, sorry, will kill nine ants of type A. A1 to A6 will never be killed, will never be killed. So only 17 are in A are left out. Okay. So I think we've done a lot of a lot of homework before this uh, uh, this uh, solving questions. Okay, so now we can see and now we can just jump and see questions here. Okay, Chalo. now look at the questions here. Okay, the first question says that what is the maximum number of ants that any ant of type B killed in the war? 
If you observe here, any end of type B killed in the war is seven, है ना? So seven is the maximum number that any end of type B killed in the war because uh, B one killed seven and B two killed six ends, B three killed five ends. Okay, so maximum number of ant was killed by B one and that is seven. So seven is the answer for first question. What is the answer for the answer for second question here? How many ants of type A are killed? So how many ants of type A are killed? If you see. So type A are killed. So in type A, out of fifty ants here, out of fifty ants, seventeen plus six are left. So for type A, out of fifty ants, seventeen plus six are left. So how many are killed here? So fifty minus twenty three, twenty seven are killed. So type A and twenty seven are killed. Okay. So B answered. Second answer question twenty seven. Second question answer. Third question here. How many ants of type B are alive after the war? Okay. So only three ants are alive now. It is B one, B two, and B three. So B one, B two, B three, three ants are alive after after the war. So I'll put three here. Okay. In total, how many ants are killed in the war? So in total, how many ants are killed in the war? So total we have hundred ten ants, no? That is fifty ants of type A plus sixty ants of type B. So total we have hundred ten ants here. In hundred ten ants, how many are alive? So I can see here that. Seventeen plus six, twenty-three are alive for A, and three are alive for B. So twenty, twenty-three are alive for A, and three are alive for B. That means eighty-four ants of type A are killed. Sorry, uh, total uh, ants it killed are eighty-four. Okay, that's a very nice set, right? Very interesting set, very nice set. A lot of people find difficulty how to start such kind of question. Okay, that's how you can start it, right? Start with a very normal, start with a very normal uh, thinking level. Okay, uh, just go by the flow. What question is saying, and automatically it comes right. So don't get panicked. So once you see a set which is which is a kind of a locked, so don't get panicked. Just relax and just try to solve it smoothly, right? All will be done. Okay, chalo. So we'll be meeting in the next uh, video with the another uh, very good LRDA set. Okay. Thank you. And also, also this combat, guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay, so the easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards, it is in basically revised format. So basically, we are mo moving closer to CAT right now. So in January, February, and March, we were like. Uh, we uh, we have around eight to ten months away from CAT, so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level range, but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level, okay? And uh, all the LRDA sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better your the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the CAT, you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this is one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this. I think, okay. So rank one to three, one year subscription, I think around twenty thousand or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So sir, so great prizes are on offer here. Okay, so get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, so ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve pm. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday, give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.